I think the first thing I wanted to be when I was growing up as a kid was to be a comic book artist. I thought that, was, um, that would be a fun job. So my whole, my whole existence pretty much has been in the pursuit of fun. I try to think of what would be the fun, fun way to make a living. And I kind of decided on either art or uh, music. I thought music, I can listen to music all day long, so that's what I decided to go with. I've always felt very lucky. I think you do what you can and certain breaks have to occur for you to be able to essentially get on the right path. You know, I don't think I had any unrealistic expectations. I'm gonna start making massive hit records or anything like that. It's just that let's, let's do the best we can and then hopefully it all comes out okay. I met Jermaine during a recording session he had um, for TLC on their first album. So he and I just kind of hit it off immediately. So from then on, he pretty much just tried to request me for any of the sessions that he had at the studio. So when we got to know each other better, I felt a little bit more comfortable talking to him. On my way out of the studio, Phil walked up to me. He was like, you know, next time we do a mix, let me, let me give a shot at it. And, you know, so you won't be in the studio taking all this time. And I, I I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a person that pay attention to signs and, and a lot of different things, and I thought that, you know, why not? That actually actually translated into him giving me a call several months later when he did a mix, a remix, I should say, for the third TLC single. Um, so we did that, turned out okay. The first mix that I did with him, I never had to send back. It was like, oh, Okay, well, I think I found my engineer, so. Within a week, we pretty much heard it on the airwaves. So that turned out to be, uh, that turned out to be my first gold record. Phil's much more than just an engineer, you know what I mean? He's a lot more than that to me. Um, he helped design my studio that we're in as right right now. He basically put everything together. Um, I, I, for me, he was my guiding light. In, in, in a lot of different directions that I didn't know about in the music business. He definitely was the person that, that kept me focused as, Jermaine, you should do this, you should buy this, you should get this, you, should, you know what I mean? I spent a lot of money messing with Phil, but it's all good. <laughs> if, uh, if you've been around Jermaine, you kind of know you can't really not have fun around him. I'm a part of the long process. I'm a very small part of the long process of making records. My mindset is, I'm going to let the music tell me what I need to do. So I don't approach it like I have to impose my will on it. So it's gonna tell me what needs to be done. 